everyone my name is karan and today in this video we will discuss some important points to boost productivity through the collaboration of r&d and ip when it comes to building a strong business strategy one of the important elements for a company is to examine how to commercialize its ip whether the company's goal is selling or licensing ideas the strategies should not only be closely considered at every phase it should lead the way from research and ideation all the way to realizing a profit this is the best way to ensure collaboration of r&d and ip allowing them to shape the vision of business r&d is not just part of innovation but the practical and sustained growth for intellectual property centric industries that is why the collaboration of r&d and ip is important for any company or business for better results in terms of profits and growth before we discuss all the important points let's understand the meaning of intellectual property intellectual property refers to creation of the mind like invention artistic and literary works designs and symbols names and images used in market intellectual property is protected by copyright trademarks patents which enable people to get recognition or financial advantage from what they created or invest now let's discuss important points to boost productivity through the collaboration of r&d and ip the first one is allocation of ip rights it often observed that employees in the department of r&d work on personal projects that can be further patented or protected under various intellectual property rights such as copyright trademarks patents this eventually serves the end purpose of furthering the business objective of the company now the second point is promote innovation another beneficial intellectual property tip for the industry leaders to encourage the functioning of research and development team is to promote innovations within the department the companies can incentivize their innovators to promote their high levels of innovation within the r&d department now the third point is understand the ip role ip plays an essential role in companies that depends on innovative patents created by research team hence the company's business development must be focused on synergetic connection between r&d and ip now the fourth point is encourage collaboration effective collaboration of r&d and ip is vital and a helpful tip to encourage such collaboration is to have unobstructed and continuous communication between r&d and ip in adequate collaboration between these two can lead to blockages in innovations as well as the process of asset management of the organization or company now the fifth one is know the interest companies or organizations must conduct innovation workshops to know the interest of r&d team members they can be promoted to pursue them following which the intellectual property teams can help them to safeguard those interests this will boost the organization's growth by increasing the ip portfolio of the company so the next point is give prolonged ip access to work with higher efficiency for the r&d team it must have access to patent landscape reports offered by ip teams with the supports of such reports r&d teams can better understand the present patents and trends for a given geographic region the next point is help from external ip consultants in big companies with a varied patent portfolio r&d teams may often require support from ip consultants the expertise level provided by them is invaluable for r&d teams the ip consultants specialize in different areas of intellectual property services and provide high quality results and cost effective solutions such as providing support in recognizing publications in a technical domain and resolving any instant problems now the last point is give access to ip guidance the r&d team have access to valid ip counsel in terms of ip protection ip litigation and ip prosecution it's an essential step in optimizing the department work it is demoralizing for the investor to see their innovation being discarded because of examination and uniqueness problems hence indulging in ip counsel right from the starting saves a lot of problems after discussing all the important points it is concluded that an effective collaboration of r&d and ip departments is achieved through better development and training i hope you like this video for more updates please subscribe to this channel thank you